I am so grateful for your participation since we feel that it is through you and your participation that this program is going to be a grand success. And due to this very humble program, I am sure the aspirants, the students of our Nota Middle Range will draw their encouragement from the very performance of our students, our children, of our beautiful Nota Middle Range. So, thank you so much for your participation and a very well, well, warm welcome to you all. And meritorious students, it's my part you when I don't think it's Angela. Topper NPSC 2024. Tama Megana Yamuna Laro Tikitagina. All Nagalen Lo, Eta da Pitochi, first Topper Egmuchi Tama Megana. The Suchi Sedna, Ed Topper Egmuchi Tama Megana. The Majisuna, the Dolphina, the Matata. In NPSC 2024, so I request her to stand. And then receive the gift. She's a gold medalist in MA from Ikfa University in Nagaland. Your consciousness expands in all directions and you find yourself in a new, great and wonderful world. I'm called Patanjali. This is somewhat similar to what you have been through. Again, young achievers. You are finding yourself in a wonderful world right now, basking in the glory of your success, surrounded by so many beautiful people, ever supportive people, range people, experiencing great moment of recognition and acknowledgement of your great achievement. I would like to insist on this point for this event. May this wonderful time, wonderful moment that we are experiencing now be a springboard for you to scale higher, to scale greater heights in the days to come. Let 
Tu tādā topnē un mums vajag kaut 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 vienšķēkam, kaut kaut ādē lotājām, nā kāds būtī, kundē jāpšā, ēkam, kaut 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 kaut. My name is Iliani R. Oman, and I passed out my HSLC from Lil Star Higher Secondary School, Timapur. I'm the daughter of Theresa Oman and Zizubuni of Lotsu Village. Firstly, I would like to thank God for his blessings and guidance throughout my journey. Without this, his grace, none of this would have been possible. I am also immensely grateful to my teachers and school authorities. I think without thanking them, my speech would be incomplete. It is because of their support, encouragement and dedication that I'm able to stand here today. Without my teachers, this wouldn't have been possible. My deepest appreciation also goes out to my parents and family for their unconditional love, support, constant encouragement and prayers. Their belief in me has been my source of strength and inspiration every step of the way. Securing a place in the top ed has been a result of hard work, commitment and sacrifice. It is a testament to the belief that with hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. As I look towards the future, I am filled with optimism and excitement. I am eager to continue my academic journey and pursue my trips with the same determination and patience that has brought me to this point. To my fellow students, I encourage you to never underestimate your potential. With hard work, perseverance, and determination, anyone can achieve greatness. I am Matilo Yanta, daughter of Zarevo Yanta and Lucy, and I hail from Sangam village. Today, I feel very honored to stand before you all receiving this recognition. It is such an encouragement for us in the days to come also. I would like to take this time to achieve all those people who have supported me, be it my parents, my teachers, my family, relatives, friends, near and dear ones, and the whole Nota community. Also, a very, very big thank you to our Almighty God for answering all my lengthy prayers. I'm telling you that without God, we cannot do anything. It is all due to His grace and mercy that I am able to achieve this rank. So now moving on, let me read a verse from Joshua 1 verse 9. And let us even read from uh, English, Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This verse, I assure you, will help you to stay strong in your faith. Now, moving on, I would like to share uh, some tips that I as a student followed when I was preparing for my books. So, the first thing is studying daily. I made it a habit to study daily no matter what the occasion was. Even if it was your birthday or even if it was any weddings, I know that birthdays and weddings will not be there for a whole day. Like you can make out 30 to 1 hour, 30 minutes to 1 hour, so that you can study at least one topic a day. Secondly, habit stacking. Now when I say habit stacking, it's like deciding what to do next. For example, I used to make out plans. Uh, now I'll study science, after that, next I'll study English. Like this, when I stack my habits, it helped me to follow the rules. Because when we don't make a commitment, we tend to forget and then we don't usually do it. So habit stacking has helped me a lot. And third thing is ask. When you have doubts, when you have any questions in mind, ask. Because many of times students don't ask. Now when they don't ask, teachers are not like they will read our minds, right? They are not, uh, they cannot do tele uh, telepathy. So because of it, many students, they are like left in their own doubt world. So I'm telling you, ask. Even Matthew 7 verse 7 says, ask and it will be given to you. Uh, you can ask God for wisdom and concentration so that you can study uh, effectively. But again, when I say ask, it doesn't always mean that you pray to God that God let me pass in exams and then you won't study. It's not like this. Let us move on. 
There's even a verse in Luke 6, verse 38 that says, Give and it will be given to you. It's not only about asking and it will be given to you. We can also move on to Luke 6, verse 38 that says, Give and it will be given to you. Give your hard work, give your time, give your concentration. And then automatically God will also give you the fruit. Likewise, I also gave my concentration, my time, and then I studied. And then today I'm receiving this fruit. And lastly, uh, your handwriting. Now, for me, I also didn't have a very good handwriting. So, uh, towards my exam time, I started thinking, like, I have to work out on little, little things. Because if I don't do it, then maybe these things can pull me down. So what I did was, uh, my vice, uh, vice principal, she was very supportive to me. So, she used to tell me, you have to work out on your handwriting. And then, during my uh, like it was around November or December, she gave me around four to five handwriting notebooks so that I can practice and improve my handwriting. And then daily, it's not like I'll finish a full book by one day, so I wrote about three to four pages a day. And then automatically I, can, I could see that my handwriting improved a lot better. And then uh, in my exam time, I could see that there was a very huge difference in my marks. Uh, first, when I was giving my, in December we had an exam, and then the teachers they told me about how my handwriting was not up to the mark. And then on January, when uh, an exam was conducted in the school, the teachers automatically they told the vice principal that, oh, Machilo's handwriting has improved a lot. So from there I came to know that yes, my hard work has paid off. And so I, I can only say this that you should also work out on your handwriting because when teachers they see good handwriting, they automatically tend to think that, oh, the answer is right. If the student has written in good handwriting, that means the student has written confidently. And so, last thing was that improve your handwriting. Today, I, Ziani R. Hunsoy, daughter of Mr. Renata Hunsoy, Mulan Baptist Associate Pastor, and daughter of Mrs. Yambini Hunsoy, would like to give special thanks to some heroes of my life who render immense prayer help, guidance, and encouragement to me. The achievement of an ML subject dopper was not only my effort, I say. Firstly, God. He was the source of guidance whenever I prayed to him. His presence made me feel powerful, capable. He granted me good health, concentrated spirit, and which I praise and glorify his name and thank God. <laughs> Amongon <laughs> Now I want to draw my attention to all the students present here, uh, specifically the students. Uh, in sharing my advice from my personal experience. Now the first thing is that to always work hard if you are going to achieve your goals and your dreams. Why? Because there is no substitute for hard work. Uh, we. This phrase has been used a lot by our teachers, lecturers, or elders, and so on, and of course, successful people. The, uh, the phrase I would like to say is, hard work leads to success. And this has never been, uh, and this has proved to be true for most people. Because of course, it is because of our hard work and our dedication that we, we get through our goals and dreams. And secondly, I want the student to remember the three Ds, that is dedication again, and then discipline and determination. I, I repeat, dedication, discipline, and determination. And also, to have a strong faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because without Him, as our toppers have also emphasized, we cannot achieve, uh, we cannot achieve uh, our goals without uh, a strong force, and that is our Lord.